This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone or glorify the use of drugs. Yo, what is good? I'm Low Key Fish, and in this video, I'm explaining everything you need to know about Phenibut. This substance is a legal derivative of the inhibitory transmitter GABA, and is taken as a supplement to increase motivation, reduce pain, boost excitement, and more. It is easier to function normally on Phenibut than other GABA substances such as Xanax and other benzodiazepines due to it carrying less physical sedating effects on the mind and body. I'll explain the benefits, dangers, effects, dosage, personal experiences, and much more. Let's get into it. Benibut was developed in the Soviet Union in the 1960s, where it has been used as a pharmaceutical drug to treat a wide variety of conditions. These conditions vary between post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, depression, insomnia, alcoholism, stuttering, vestibular disorders, and many others. Some of Benibut's effects are similar to benzodiazepines and alcohol due to how it alleviates social anxiety and gives you more confidence. When combined with psychedelics, it can reduce the chance of bad trips and keep you in a positive mindset. You may find a lot of people online preaching it as a wonder drug, but it doesn't feel like your typical drug high. It works more in the background where it acts as a cognitive boost than a sedating high. God, I feel so good. Because of this, they can be good to take before interviews, presentations, or social events. I used to have a roommate who would down a beer or two before giving presentations in his economic class. He said the alcohol would loosen him up a bit and make him less nervous. And looking back, Benefit would probably have been a more better and cleaner option. It preserves cognition better than benzos and alcohol, and in return feels more clear-headed, which may be why some people claim to not even feel effects when they take it. Today, Benefit is legal in most countries around the world, and is still used pharmaceutically in Russia to treat things like ADHD. It's taken orally as a capsule or tablet, but it may be given intravenously in medical settings in various countries. Since the 2010s, it has become a drug globally via the supplement industry, frequently taken as a self-treatment for anxiety or stress, or as a recreational alternative to benzos and alcohol. It's also used recreationally to produce euphoria and increase motivation. Even though there are a lot of benefits to be had with Phenibut, you can still become dependent on the drug and experience withdrawal effects if you use it a lot. So be cautious if you plan to take it on a daily basis. I don't need it. Plus, it will potentiate other drugs and make them feel more potent, so users must keep that in mind as well. Benibu is also very good at treating pain, especially neurological pain or aiding tremors and twitching in those with permanent nerve damage. Occasionally, it's used as an anticonvulsant, but other gabagics such as gabapentin have been shown to be superior. Another bonus is that it reduces stuttering and tics in individuals who struggle with that. Regarding the doses, the threshold is roughly 250 milligrams with a bioavailability of 63%. A light dose is around half to a full gram. A common dose is 1 to 2 grams and a strong dose is due to 2 to 3 grams or more. Due to its habit-informing properties, it is highly advised to use harm reduction practices if using this substance. We must be cautious. Cautious, good point. With higher doses, you may slow your words or get super tired. If you take too much, you may find yourself randomly falling asleep due to its sedative effects at these higher doses. I'm sleepy. If you take some a few hours before going to bed, you may feel a nice afterglow the next day. For anti-anxiety purposes, the dose would be around 300 to 1500 milligrams. For recreation, users some will dose up to two to three grams which is a lot you got to be careful because too little may feel like nothing but too much can cause headaches <laughs> nausea or other unwanted problems it may be smart to stagger your doses by taking 200 to 400 milligrams at a time every 30 to 60 minutes or so doing this will get you to the point where the feeling is just right without going overboard Benibut is thought to act as a GABA B receptor agonist similar to baclofen or GHB Benibut and GHB have an inhibitory effect on GABA transmittase which can contribute to higher GABA levels it is frequently claimed to boost dopamine activity and affect dopamine metabolism by increasing the speed of dopamine synthesis. There's little research to prove this yet, but from my experience, I believe it. There is a connection with GABA and growth hormone, which has made Phenibut receive attention in the weightlifting community. Some believe that it may stimulate GH, but this still has little evidence to back it up yet. It induces gabapentinoid-like effects on relieving pain by reducing the influx of calcium ions. Furthermore, it competes with the drug gabapentin for its binding site, so taking them together may give some weird effects. I'm actually prescribed gabapentin because I have permanent nerve damage in my spine, and I prefer it over Phenibut. Watch this video next where I explain everything you need to know about gabapentin and how it is probably better than Phenibut overall. Yo, no cap, gabapentin is probably one of my favorite drugs of all time. I'm Lil Keyfish, peace out. Thank you.